All right, the function f of x is 3 plus 5x minus x squared. Complete the table for, uh, complete the table of values for f of x equal to 3 plus 5x minus x squared. All right, you complete the table of values by substituting the x values in the function to find the f of x value. Because look, f, so the x and f of x. So if I complete the values, then that's the way it is. For example, we want to know what is f of 0. And that is going to be 3 plus 5 times 0 plus, no, that's not a plus, that's a minus. So if you notice, I'm substituting 0 in the f of x formula to know what f of x is. Minus 0 square. 3 plus 5 times 0 minus 0 square. And you notice that this gives you 3. So this is 3 right here. The next one is to do f of what? 1. You're going to put f of 1 in there. So you're going to put 1 where the x is. 1. You set it up the same way. So I'm substituting 1 where x is. So you're looking at 3 plus 5 minus 1. I, I think this is 7. Yes, sir. So this, this value here is 7. Is 3 plus 5 times 4 minus 4 square. 3 plus 20 minus 16. You still get back your 7. And do the last one. F of 6. 3 plus 5 times 6 minus 6 square. 3 plus 30 minus 36. Seeing, yeah, man. And so you kind of see what's going on here. They are suggesting now, so you complete that. You get two marks for that. On the grid, complete the graph of f of x equal to 3x. 3 plus 5x minus x square. Where x is... Less than or equal to 6, greater than or equal to negative 1. Look at the graph, you will see the same thing. Look, negative 1 on the graph, and it ends at 6. So they're telling you already. So whether or not you understood, you're still okay. Um, if you just plot your points and follow through. I'm making the graph a little bit smaller so you could plot it right here. Um, uh, let's plot the points that we have missing. 0 with 3. 0 with 3. <clears throat> So it is zero on your x with three on the y where they meet. Let me, let me mark this with a blue spot right here. This is zero, three right there. I agree that that's three right there. Yes, sir. And the numbers you're seeing. That's a three, zero, three. And uh, one with a seven. One, one goes up to seven and seven is right here as well. And uh, what else we had? We had four with, nine. four with seven and six with negative three. So four with seven. Four with seven is right over this side here. And then no, uh, six with negative three is right here. Agree? So all you're going to know is to draw the quadratic curve. So you're just going to run a curve. Remember, it's not a straight line, so it's not a ruler. Free hand you use, and you try to do this. And um, you, you, you have to understand that the curve kind of turn. So even though up, up at the top looks like a little plateau, don't, don't plateau the curve. The curve looks something like this. Let me see if we can get it a little bit up. And so basically you have a curve like that, right? Um, I've seen people using ruler to do this. You lose the mark. For, uh, you lose one mark if you use a ruler. So you have to be careful. Write down the equation of the axis of symmetry of the graph. So there's a write down the equation of the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is a line that splits the graph into two equal pieces. And it's always an x value here. That line that cuts the curve into two would have been passing here. Take a look at if this line looks like it's the halfway line to you. Right there. Agree? Yes, sir. 
2.5, right? Because it's halfway between that. Write it down. X is equal to 2.5. But if they said using the graph, then you have to show the line. Up. State the maximum value of the function. So the maximum value of the function, Chairman, is to, to see how far it went on the y-axis because um, look for yourself. It turns back here. Can you see that? The curve turned back up here. So, okay. so that means if you should get a line and kiss this, the top here, and go across like this, you are able to see that number. Um, so this is a nine. Anywhere there. You will know exactly. But basically, that's the principle. You go across and you're here with the approximately 9.5. That's it.